SGC here and we're back for comics time. SGC here and we're back for first impression. The Good Place, season one, episode one. So this is created by Mike Schor, who's best known for the NBC The Office and co-creating Parks and Recreation and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. This stars Kristen Bell, William Jackson Harper, Jamili Jamil, Darcy Carden, Manny Jaquinto, and Ted Danson. Anyone else, check down below. Basically, it's about Kristen Bell, who's dead, and then now she has gone to the good place, where only good people go. And then as the first episode, you realize she's not actually a good person, so there's a mix-up that she's not supposed to be at the good place, and things just don't work out because she's not a good person. So then she has her soulmate who's trying to hash it out with her as in like somehow to make you nice or something or things are not going to go well. So as a first episode, it's interesting in a sense where it's very different from The Office, Parks and Rec and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. There's no real setting whereas The Offices in those three shows were the setting. Here it's like I guess the good place, the whole place is the setting but it's not confined to a room per se. And there's less, more established cast, and it's t the formula is different. We meet her wealthy neighbor, and she's totally, I don't know how she ended up in the good place. And then her soulmate neighbor is meeting people, and it's just, it's a different formula. And, and it's different, and I would say the weak part is that it just feels like any other show type of formula. I think that with Office Parks and Brooklyn, that whole structure of the office was its strength. Though it's definitely going to be interesting to see the rest of the season, how it's going to pan out. Is he going to create a office space for this good place? Probably, I'm assuming, because it's just going to be a lot more walking around. I definitely like the concept with the whole you can do anything in the good place, as in all the things you want, it's there, and there's just good stuff all around. The concept's cool. And definitely enjoy what was the first episode. You see the conflict in Kristen Bell's and trying to really enjoy the good place, but she knows she's a real bad person. And then her soulmate's starting to learn about how bad she is. Is it going to be the same as the three shows that I mentioned before? I think it's definitely less in the sense where not established people are showing, showing up. I mean, you have your neighbor, your soulmate, the creator that... AI person that knows everything and but everything else with the office stuff it's like oh these people in these office they're like these roles there's a lot more cast that's what I'm trying to say the cast is a lot bigger in the other shows whereas this one is very limited and very sort of specific with Kristen Bell but it is a first episode but all in all I enjoyed it for what it was I really enjoyed the whole flashback of how horrible she is and I enjoy watching how horrible people portray horrible people on shows so definitely gonna see where it's gonna pan out and I hope it does well I don't I haven't read anything to see if it's doing well or not I was using the show to speak for itself I mean actually no I lied there has been an article that I read that season two is coming out and it's like oh the, the thing you gotta watch is season one now so you can catch up to season two to be ready for season two type of thing so I'm like, if they're saying that, then it must be good. So maybe the first episode's kind of a slow-ish sort of establishing thing. Maybe it'll get better. It's like when I think of Angie Tribeca. Angie Tribeca season, like the first season, like the first episode was just like, whoa, this is what I'm getting into. And then you're like, wow. And then it starts rolling and rolling and rolling. So hopefully this is like that for that. Sorry, I'm just rambling. Kristen Bell is Kristen Bell. She does what she needs to do type of thing. It's not like a super standout, oh my goodness, must watch type of thing. I think there's that awkward stage where I feel with most of his shows, when you first start out, it's kind of like, uh, how do I feel about these? These are weird or strange or just not typical characters, tropes or archetypes type of thing. But overall, I enjoyed it. I mean, I like the concept and Kristen Bell is eye candy and I like how they cast her soulmate as a black dude. Um, I mean, it's great to see, you know, color and just not have an entire white cast. I mean, and there's also that wealthy neighbor. She's probably Indian and the other monk guy's probably Korean. I should really look this stuff up, but I didn't. Anyway, so yes, that is it. 
enjoyed it. Check it out if you want. If you don't like Kristen Bell, it's going to be a hard sell. But yeah, anyway, that is it for this first impression of The Good Place, Season 1, Episode 1. Out. Bye.